All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. All right. It's a lot here. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. All right. And the scriptures say, in the latter days, uh, perilous times shall come. All right. Dangerous, you know, uh, imminent times are, are closely approaching. And we're seeing it, you know, as as we're entering closely into Jacob's trouble. So without further ado, I want to jump right into it. And, you know, the scriptures say that, you know, uh, many will perish, okay? And very few will be saved from the nation of Israel because only the Israelites can be saved, all right? But only the elect, which is a small number, will be saved out of the, the perilous time and the death and destruction is coming forth. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. The book of 2 Ezra chapter uh, 7 verse 20, okay, and it reads, For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. All right, and many means majority, okay? Matter of fact, let's go into that word many, you know, and it, it's going to happen in this lifetime. You know, contrary to popular belief, you know, everyone's majority of these people are caught up in their 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 uh, pride, you know, caught up in the world and what the world has to offer. But no one's taking into consideration the missiles that are being built. OK, which are the weapons of the Lord. All right. That's that plague that's going to lay this land desolate. So the definition of many, it reads on a large number of. It says numerous, a good, great deal of. A large, great number of, great quantities, plenty of, countless, innumerable, multitude. Okay? It says untold, multi multiple. Okay? A ma the majority of people. Okay? So, when the scriptures say 2 Ezra 7 to 20, for there be many, okay, the, the majority of the people <clears throat> that perish in this life. Because they despise, that word despise means hate. They hate the law of Yahweh that is set before them. Verse 21. For the Most High have given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. So the Lord gave us statute laws and commandments. All right. And I believe uh, over 613, you know, laws uh, are in the Bible of how to live, in which we Try to keep to the best of our ability, okay? But the Lord gave us, you know, commandments on to live, on how to live, man. But the majority of the people, you know, um, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who are the children of Israel, they hate the law. They rather go after the ways of this world, man, which is a path of, of death and destruction. So going to uh, verse 22, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spoke against him and imagine vain things all right so the point of the matter is when the scriptures say there be many that perish in this lifetime a hey, majority of our people gonna perish with these heathens man all right for not seeking the god of the bible and wanting to do their own thing okay second Ezra chapter 15 verse 24 woe to them that sin okay woe means death and destruction okay and what is sin Let's get that. The book of First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Okay, it says, Whosoever committed sin, all right, whosoever is speaking to the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which the law was only given to the Israelites. Okay, so that whosoever is speaking to a particular people, it says, Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. What law? The law of the Bible, the, the, the law of the Most High, the law of Yahweh. Okay? For sin is a transgression of the law. So sin is going against the law, man. The law, which is the straight commandment that the Lord gave the children of Israel. So when we break the law, and what are some of the examples of breaking the law? Getting tattoos, 
you know, eating abominable foods, bacon and shrimp, you know, oysters, you know, liver, things of that nature, which scriptures tell you not to eat um, swine's flesh, you know, worshiping um, idols, you know, worshiping uh, images, you know, uh, Santa Maria, Hela Selassius, you know, uh, um, Jesus Christ, which is an image of Cesare Bourgier, you know, into, uh, you know, Muslim doctrine, you know, celebrating heathen customs, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, your birthday, you know, all those are examples of committing sin, man, going against the law, okay? So going back to Second Exodus chapter 15, verse 24, when the scriptures say, woe to them that sin, all right, to willfully sin, you know, don't want to take heed to the word and despise the law of Yahweh. It says, and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to put majority of our people to death. That's why the scriptures say many shall perish in this life, man. Okay. I'm going to skip down to 26. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and, there, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. So the Lord is going to hand them over to death and destruction. You know, in these perilous times, more evil spirits are lurking. You got, you know, um, you know, hey, chariots, you know, uh, bringing forth, you know, uh, hurricanes and tornadoes, you know, bad storms. People are dying from these things, man. You know, uh, evil spirits created for vengeance. You know, you got people out here uh, lurking, looking to take out as many people as they can, man. Mass shootings, stabbings, you know. All right. And, and, and ultimately, those ICBM missiles that's created by Yahweh Shem Shai. That's going to lay this land desolate and majority of you Israelites are going to get caught up in it that don't want to take heed to the word. Okay? So the Lord knows those that are, as the scriptures say, 2 Exodus 15 and 26, for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him willfully sin, okay? And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Verse 27, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, okay? And some of those plagues are what? Pestilence, diseases. You know, earthquakes, uh, you know, you got um, the sword, which the Lord is going to bring forth martial law. You know, the, with this martial law, the, the devil is going to come upon, you know, you Israelites with a great wrath, man, because he knows his time is short. And he's going to be shooting down Jake. You're going to be seeing all types of, uh, you know, semi-automatic weapons you ain't never seen before, man. All types of weapons uh, these these Edomites are going to bring out, man. Okay, but the Lord is, is delivering majority of the Israelites unto death for not taking heed to this word, man. Okay? And this this plague is coming upon the whole earth, as the scriptures say. Okay? It says, And ye shall remain in them. For the Most High, Yahweh, shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. You know? And it's a righteous uh, judgment, man. You know? For the nation of Israel, the ones of our people that don't want to take heed are going to die a horrible death, man. Come soon. Famine's coming. You know, hey, it's race riots gonna come. World War Three is a majority of our, some of our people won't say majority, but a lot of, a good boatload of our people are in the military. They're gonna die in World War Three. You know, for trusting in these devils. Okay, so uh, I want to bring out two more precepts. I didn't want this to be a long video, but uh, I just want to flow through the spirit. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. All right. Uh, let me see. That's not the one I want. Second Ezra chapter nine, verse fifteen. Okay, it says, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also after, so like hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. And speaking to the Israelites, all right, majority of our people are going to die a horrible death, man, you know, coming soon, man. And, and you see, and Jake is catching hell now. A lot of those people died in the Bahamas, and I keep bringing up the Bahamas because that's the recent a uh, large number of people that was killed, man. Thousands have been unaccounted for, which are most likely dead, man. These Edomites don't like to tell the truth about the numbers of people that died, okay? But the scriptures say, come soon, many more is going to perish, man, okay? It reads on um, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, okay? Verse 16, like as a wave is greater than a drop. And you think of an ocean wave, how how compare in comparison to a drop of a of, you know some water, you know that's a major difference in between the wave, which symbolizes as a metaphor for the multitude of people that's getting ready to be put to death, man, versus 
they'll drop of the people that's going to be saved. Okay, it's a small number of Israelites that will be saved, man, which is the elect who are going to be um, delivered out of death and destruction in this place, man, across the four corners of the earth. You know, and scriptures tell you that, you know, as a matter of fact, let me bring it out. And this is the last precept I want to bring out, but it's deep, man. You know, you got a great wave versus a drop. You know, the Lord's getting ready to bring that hammer down, man. And that's showing his true anger towards the nation of Israel, man. All right. The nation of Israel, the ones that don't want to take heed. Okay, and and the you know the the, the heathens as well, man. Because the heathens, are, hey, they gonna get they get in judgment as well. First Peter chapter four verse seventeen. It says, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. and if it first begin at us, what shall the end of what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High?" Okay. Let's see. The ones that don't want to obey the disobedient degenerates of the nation of Israel, which describes two thirds, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, what shall the ungodly and the sinner of where should let me start that over? First Peter chapter four, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, meaning matter of fact, let's get a definition of scarcely. I know the definition, but I wanna I wanna I wanna see what what Google says. It says, scarcely means only just, almost not, barely, hardly. Okay? So if, if as the scriptures say, First Peter chapter 4, verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, meaning barely, get delivered, all right, which the Lord is showing his glory through doing that. It, it, it's all going to be a dramatic um, set of events, man, you know? So the elect, Lord willing, we're part of that number of the nation of Israel is going to scarcely, barely be saved, man, out of all of the plagues the Lord is bringing. It says, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So the ones that don't want to obey, you can imagine how bad it's going to be for them, man. All right, that's why the title of the video is 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 basically it goes into you know uh, a great wave versus drop, man. Let me bring that out. I'm gonna close out on that. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, select so like the second Ezra chapter nine, okay, verse sixteen. Like as a great wave, like as like as a wave is greater than a drop. So you can only imagine. You can you, you can't even imagine. The, the number of people that's getting ready to be put to death, man. Comparing a wave, a great wave, ocean wave to a drop, man. So, you know, it's important for us to keep pushing and staying focused. The ones that's locked in, you brothers and some of you sisters out there that's trying, you know, stay locked in through the Pirate Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. With that being said, before I close, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who will well. And the double shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth is sincerity. Shalom.